001. Thank you, Wendy. Welcome back. Did you know that you could help out kids in need just by having a party? Apparently so. Joining us now to tell us all about it are Lorraine Downs and Matt and Crow. Greetings. Hi. Hi. Nice to see both of you. Tell us all about the Heart to Heart fundraising program. Well, Variety approached Marty and I to be involved with this program and what it's about is everyone knows that children have, you know, wonderful talents, but every now and then sometimes a child can't be supported and nurtured through to, you know, make those talents come alive. Yeah. And so this program is about supporting those children who need financial help. And what the idea is, is that you can have a party. You now, we all entertain at home. And the idea is to have a party and your guests basically put in a donation to the Heart to Heart. And so it's a win-win situation. So you don't need to be a Trekker star then to make to raise money? Absolutely You just not. need to have a few friends who like to yeah. come around and have something to eat? Yeah, and we invited, you know, ten of our close friends and uh, sold them on the on the concept yeah. and and you know they walked in with their bottle of wine put their money into the into the little bowl and we just cracked on as we normally do and, and then the onus is, is now on on them to reciprocate and raise money and it's like providing a 250 dollars check mm -hmm. to the big pool and of course variety is such a great charity i mean they they basically raise money for 25, at least 25 kids a day. So this is just a very small contribution. And as you say, it's easy for anyone to get involved. Oh, great idea. Uh, so we're looking forward to the, you know, the reciprocation from our mates. Absolutely. And, uh, so that's the idea. If yeah. you have a party and people come to your yeah. party, you would then ex sure. sort of expect it, if you could, to have your own. Yeah. And it'll and go viral, won't it? I mean, you know, other people will be invited and the, and the, the circle will grow, if you like, so that uh, the Variety Club get lots of money. So giving these kids a bit of a lift, what sorts of things have they shown some talent in? I'm thinking pro possibly sport. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, arts, um, you know, uh, ballet. I mean, it, I mean it, it, it's close to us yeah. because of, of our own kids. Jasmine, yeah. who's 14, and, and well, my dilemma. We just know that, you know, children that have talents, they have to be nurtured. And, you know, my daughter, she's just passionate about ballet. And it costs a lot of money to yeah. support that. But we know that there's a lot of families out there that perhaps have a child, child that's showing a talent in, a, in, in an area. But it can't be nurtured because of financial problems. No, and, and something like ballet or gymnastics, for example, one hour becomes two hours, becomes four hours, becomes eight, 12 yeah. hours eight, a week. Seven yeah. hours a week. <laughs> yeah. Bus driver here. Oh, um, but, absolutely. you know, and, and, and so we, if, if that was taken away from us, it would, be, it, would, it would be really hard. So we want to support those families that can make their kids' dreams come alive. And, and you know, we've, we've had a lovely life, you know, living our dreams, so we, we want to make sure that as many as possible have the same opportunity. Tips for throwing a good party then. <laughs> Come on. Well, you've got to do something that you feel really comfortable with, yeah. you know, and it doesn't have to be a big formal party. I mean, we like to entertain very relaxed. So it, it could even be an afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a cocktail party, um, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And I just sort of always sort of think that when you arrive at people's homes, if the host is relaxed, mm -hmm then everybody's relaxed. So, you know, it's just not making it a big deal. I think the, the days of three-course meals in the 80s are gone, you know. Yeah. And, and, um, oh, bring back the progressive dinner, though, from <laughs> yeah. the 70s. Oh, yeah. How but, good were they? So, I mean, um, Lorraine will do a, a mojito cocktail and, mm -hmm. a, and a dessert, and I'll do a jambalaya um, out on the barbecue. On the barbecue. You're a barbecue, Funny enough, it rained that night, so it was sort of... We had to sort of get the umbrellas out. But uh, then you come and grab your own, and, uh, you know, I have this big green egg, which I like to cook on, right? And, and it's, um, what are they like? Because they're, they're supposed great. to be the Rolls Royce. No, seriously, they? because they last forever, and it's we've never tasted food like it. Yeah. I heard that because you're not using gas, you're using you know proper natural you do, heat. They turn into like a pizza oven as well, don't yeah. they? Pizza do everything. oven, pizza. smoker, you name it. Oh, so anyway, so that's, <laughs> it, it, it's Boys whatever. You just need a beer it's whatever makes <laughs> makes um, you relax and makes you know everyone sort of enjoy the night, and you know it's something that uh, I'm sure everyone's got their own little talent. Ours is no nothing special. It's mm. just that we, uh, we we just have a good time and uh, and everyone walks away happy and, and ready to reciprocate and raise some money for a great cause. You guys have both been very successful. Were, were your talents nurtured as as kids? Well, parents driving us everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I live out at, lived out at Tirangi and um, being driven into Auckland Grammar or into Cornell Crew Club. You know, every Saturday practices. You know, uh, and same I played with... a little bit of netball, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> And you did pretty well in the modern world. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little bit later.
later, I suppose. How was Mother's Day yesterday? Wonderful. Did you get spoiled? Yeah, well, I, I spent it with my sisters and my mother. Oh, neat. And family, so we had a great lunch, and so that was really, really special. Gorgeous. Mm. Fantastic. When you're not doing um, great stuff for charities, what are you guys doing? Um, well, I work for the Rugby Channel, um, so um, busy at this time of the year, um, mainly First 15 Rugby on Saturdays, um, so that uh, keeps us busy, but family is first and foremost. Yeah, indeed. Absolutely. And Lorraine, you st look utterly gorgeous. Secrets, quickly, top one, two? Um, being happy. Yeah. I think that's really, you know, women glow when they're happy, and I think that that's really... Well, you're uh, ecstatic then. Yeah. Throw a party. <laughs> Throw a party you're and raise some money for glowing. a good cause. Absolutely. Thank you both Thanks, so much mate. for coming in. All the very Thank best. You. It's great Thank charity. You. Now to find out more about how you can get involved with Heart to Heart, please head to our website. Indeed, tomorrow, Sonia Gray shares highlights of her big wedding day. Rachel Blampede, Andrew Clay and Jackie Clark check into Heartbreak Hotel with their new play, Dumped. April Iremia reveals how she lost 30 kilos in 30 weeks. And Marta gets ready to party like it's 1999 with a little help from a drag queen, yeah. an Asta. I know. Crazy. Have a fabulous afternoon. <laughs> Have a super day. See Thanks you tomorrow. Bye. Tuesday.